Now, a lot of people talk about coral sand and pH and KH. Now, coral sand is calcium carbonate, and if your pH becomes acidic, then the acid can break down the coral sand and release calcium carbonate into the water. The calcium carbonate is going to help increase your pH and KH levels. So therefore, if your water is super bad and it goes acid, then the coral sand is of some value because it will help to raise your pH and KH. On the other hand, if you're aiming to keep alkaline water fish that like a high pH, then your coral sand serves no purpose because the water has to become acidic in order for the coral sand to actually break down. If you have very thick sand beds and your water is becoming anoxic at the bottom of the sand bed, therefore discharging hydrogen sulfide, then your coral sand will break down. But I would be highly recommending that you do not allow that to happen and you would be doing regular gravel cleans to ensure that doesn't happen and adding products like aquarium detox to um, to ensure that anoxic zones don't create. So therefore, unless there is an acidic environment, then your coral sand does not break down. There's a magnesium bond within the coral sand and it will not break down unless your water is acidic. So basically, if you're not looking after your aquarium, the coral sand is a good idea. If you are trying to have an aquarium that thrives and your aim is to look after your aquarium, and to have good water quality and to allow your fish to thrive, not merely survive, then the coral sand is absolutely useless as far as buffering is concerned. You're much better off using a commercial buffer um, in coordination with, say, a cichlid salt or whatever sort of salt you're, that, you're, that your fish are going to um, require that's going to help y your um, trace elements um, and minerals and salts and so forth that will be in those um, conditioners. So I'd be using a water ager, I'd be using a conditioner which will help you GH and I'd be using a buffer that's helping your KH and that's how I would maintain good water quality. I would not rely on the coral sand because the coral sand has to become acidic in order to break down and if I want alkaline water fish I never want my water acidic otherwise the fish will potentially be dying because your pH and KH is going to be too low. So these things really need to be tested. The other thing you just need to be careful about with coral sand as well is be careful what species of fish you put on the coral sand because the light colour does pale out a lot of the fish and also you'll find that a lot of the digging fish it may um, damage the gill lining because most fish like cichlids are usually found over mulm or very soft sediment so if you've got fish that do a lot of digging, you might notice the fish scratching their gill plate a fair bit and that's just that they're um, injured, their gill lining can actually be injured by the coral sand. So you've just got to be mindful of the fish that you put in on the coral sand. That's just a, um, a few sort of um, common misconceptions. It does look great. So um, anyway, if you've got any comments on coral sand, any, um, any successes or failures, that you've had then put a little comment down at the bottom of this video what do you like what do you don't like about coral sand for fresh water tanks